friends, welcome at Domidrevna workshop. Today it's time to build a new table for H and C folder, uh, or I should say hammer machine. Uh, yes, uh, I'm working on this machine many months, but it's good time to, to build a new table for, for this machine. I'm using uh, this uh, file from Marius. Thank you, my friend. And of course I can build by myself, but <laughs> if it's uh, if uh, it's ready and it's pr uh, prepared uh, properly, so I can use it. Uh, and of course I will do some modification for my screws and my setup of um, docks, but the most important thing uh, things uh, are ready. So we will start with quite thick hmm, MD, MDF material. It's quite thick because it's uh, about 32 or 38 millimeters, very heavy. And I think it should find it should work fine uh, for this uh, purpose. And like you see on the beginning, I of course I'm using the table table saw. The most easiest way uh, to cut it uh, straight. Uh, why this? Why I decided to use uh, this material? Because it's quite soft. Uh, it shouldn't um, expand a, a, um, more, uh, even if the moisture in, in, at the workshop will change. Oh, okay. Uh, now I'm using table table saw, and uh, I need to set up on night. 92 millimeters. So, like you see, I'm using this uh, hmm, quite accurate um, way of uh, setup, and then I will cut all this uh, material for 92. Yeah, all all pieces. Uh, so we will get. Uh, five pieces and the first drills because oh, sorry I should say uh, the first holes uh, mm, I was thinking how to how to do it because of course I can use uh, CNC for it but I think this uh, type of work will be much faster and like you see, I'm not using uh, any tape measure or any other type uh, of uh, tools for measure, measure because I'm using only strip under the drill and this white block for, um, for, for uh, to move this drill on the left or the right side and I didn't realize that uh, is uh, so the MDF is so hard to, to drill and the the drill is uh, to make a hole uh, the drill is uh, completely stuck on the beginning because the because of the dust or the the rest of uh, material and Next step, it will be um, on the on the CNC table, and like you see, I'm using quite long screws because this material is mounted on the top upside down. I need to cut out or um, no, yeah, cut out uh, 26 millimeter grooves, and these grooves it will be on the on the bottom uh, I will use it as a T-slot so uh, of course um, 
I was a bit scary because, you know, the screws are quite high. But if you set up Z-Hop for every movement, and uh, then I, uh, sorry, the, I use it uh, about uh, 50 or 60 millimeters Z-Hop, so it will um, help you to, to not destroy your uh, rotor bit. And, uh, like you see, chisel, of course, is the best uh, tools, uh, uh, tool on the workshop. It's because the diameter of uh, bit wasn't uh, very big and the, the material is moved outside the working area. But it's no problem, couple minutes and it's uh, it's done and then i can rotate it uh, this material 180 degree of course i'm uh, removing all the dust and all the chips from the from the edges and i can use five screws and mount it uh, on the uh, on the place the screws is quite uh, quite hmm, how to say it the head is completely flat flat sorry 15 millimeters of diameter and uh, it's quite short about 20 millimeters so like you see then I'm I'm using uh, some kind of wedges uh, Specially prepared for for this um, because uh, I need to set up all the the all these uh, MDF MDF table pieces um, dimensions uh, yeah 26 millimeters yes 26 yes 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 <laughs> and if I use it then the, the dimension will be exact the same between all the MDF pieces. Easy cheesy and after a couple of minutes it's ready to screw it uh, to, to the table. Yes, I'm using... Uh, not Torx, sorry, how to say it in English? Okay, I don't know, Hex maybe <laughs> and then I can use quite long and thick uh, yeah it's six millimeter bit and then we can start work on the last hmm. you see I'm tired <laughs> okay never mind I need to check the long of the um, check the, the long of the bit and then I can start uh, do uh, the, the, the grooves it will be 10 or 11 millimeter thick yes it, the, the spindle must go to the opposite side and then we can start uh, this 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 uh, part of work couple passes and I real I realize that hmm, I do do it, I did some mistake because uh, hold the MDF table I moved a bit about one or maybe uh, one and a half millimeter on the right so the t-slot on the bottom is not exact in the middle of this t-slot uh, i will fix it later but it was uh, for sure my mistake and the last part uh, last work on this video will be uh, about flatting this table i've checked about one and a half millimeter it was 
maybe a bit too uh, too small, so I decided uh, remove one millimeter. It's an, it's not big deal for first cut will be will be good. Uh, and like you see on the on the external edges is small some extra material because the bit is not enough and hmm, not a problem not a problem I will remove it by what kind of material uh, what kind of tool of course wooden hand plane the easiest way you know the MDF is so soft uh, and two minutes and whole table is really really flat okay so like you see the printed T-slot uh, nut is working really good of course is uh, quite strong because inside is metal T-nut uh, okay so the first video is uh, finished